Human Performance and Functional Testing Corps was created by the NIH-funded Center of Research Translation Grant on osteoarthritis. There are three aims to the Human Performance and Functional Testing Corps. First, to provide accurate and reliable assessment of 3D human movement. Second, to provide facilities and train personnel for functional testing. And finally, to develop new technologies for physical activity monitoring. The primary personnel involved in the Corps are Dr. Anthony Luke, Dr. Shuvo Roy, and Dr. Chuck McCulloch. Many of the testing procedures take place in the Human Performance Center within the Orthopedic Institute on the UCSF Mission Bay campus. The laboratory houses a Vicon motion analysis system, which includes 10 cameras for 3D human movement assessment. Retroreflective markers are placed on the skin of individuals, and those individuals perform specific tasks within the laboratory. These include walking trials, running trials, cutting, jumping, hopping, and squatting. The coordinate data from those markers are recorded by the Vicon cameras, and then through post-processing, we're able to determine exact joint angles within each of the three planes. The AMTI force platforms record ground reaction forces. These ground reaction forces are combined with the joint angular data recorded from the motion analysis system, and through this, we can calculate net joint moments across each of the joints in each of the planes. Through a combination of ground reaction forces from the force plates, as well as the coordinate data and eventually the joint motion data, we can get an assessment of the torques or loads across each of the joints in these individuals with osteoarthritis. In addition to motion analysis, the Corps provides facilities and trained personnel for functional testing. This includes tests such as the timed up and go test, the star excursion balance test, as well as a variety of hop tests for knee stability. These functional tests provide metrics for patients' joint stability as well as functional mobility. The EMG system allows us to investigate muscle activation patterns in different individuals. Electrodes are placed on the quadriceps and hamstring muscles, and in other studies on the calf muscles as well as the hip muscles. These can tell us about the neuromuscular patterns of these individuals during various tasks. This helps us to identify if there are differences between individuals with pathology and healthy controls and how they activate their muscles. The core is also set up to do metabolic testing. The Parvomedics metabolic carts used to do analyses such as VO2 max and peak VO2 testing. We also do lactate testing in many athletes. The Department of Physical Therapy and Rehabilitation Science on the Mission Bay campus houses the Primus RS multimodal dynamometer. This is a dynamometer that allows us to measure things such as torque, endurance, as well as through range of motion torque development. Here we can investigate if individuals with arthritis have different muscle performance patterns when compared to healthy controls. Another important area of the core is the development of new technologies for physical activity monitoring. Here we're developing new technologies to monitor physical activity outside of the laboratory environment. Specifically, we've developed a wireless physical activity monitor, which is a tibial mounted accelerometer and allows us to monitor activity patterns in individuals performing various tasks. It's ideally set up that these individuals would be able to wear this device in everyday events, including sporting activities, as well as regular walking and running activities. Thank you.